Yes, absolutely. There, there, that is an issue. Uh, we're seeing that now, and and you know the this, the challenge for Republicans is just that to see beyond the now, and because the demographics in this country are changing one way or another, the the growth in the Hispanic community, most of it comes from births, not from immigration, which is a, an important you know, point. A, 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 counters a, a popular myth that's out there. And so, you know, as long as the, the people see as, you know, our strategy is to get 50% plus one this November and that's it, then that's, you know, that's not a strategy for long-term success. And the challenge for Republicans is if we care about the future of this country, we care about this slide towards socialism. And so you have to say, sit down and say, okay, what is going to stop this? And it's not just this November, but it's other Novembers. So you're right. But I think average Americans, including Hispanic Americans, are concerned about illegal immigration right. as an issue. They're concerned about the public safety impl implications. They're concerned about the fairness implications of it because there are so many people out there that have been waiting in line for 10, 12, 16 years to go through the process. So there is a pathway to citizenship. It's just a pathway that takes time. So we have to fix a, a big uh, situation. We have to fix the immigration system, but we have to do so in a, in a way that's sensible and pragmatic. They're also concerned about health care and the way that the health care uh, reform was handled in Washington. The process that, that took place to get that health care reform package passed was abysmal, was abominable, and they, they just don't like the way well, that Washington since you handled that. that. Up, since you brought that up, are uh, these families going to be more concerned about the process, which is a cable TV political show talking point, or the fact that they can keep uninsured kids on their coverage till they're 26? The are they going to be more worried about the way it was cooked up and people were the way, pressured the way to get that, marginal but the way, votes. But the way that it was cooked up, the way that it was cooked up resulted, the, the way that was cooked up resulted in a situation where we do have this slide towards socialism that Mario was talking yeah. about, where you have an unprecedented amount of government intervention and, and what should be a personal relationship between a family and their, and their, and their doctor. They're also concerned about the weight of this massive unsustainable debt that's going to be on yeah. their, on well, their uh, children's shoulders, right. the grandchildren's shoulders. Well, I, They're concerned about national security because right. uh, we see that you know, we're having difficulty even saying that there's a war on terror. I and mean, we have a, a real national security threat on our hands. Mm -hmm. And they're concerned about the way that we're dealing with Latin America. You know, still to this day, when we haven't been able to make progress on a, uh, a trade deal with Colombia, our, our closest ally in Latin America, I think that's, a, that's abominable. Well, I mean, you know, the, to answer your question about the future, what's, this is expedient or what's going on in terms of the debate on immigration for November and will it have repercussions for the future? Uh, my, my simple answer is no. Um, First on health care, and we'll, jury's still out, we'll see. I happen to think it's going to cost people more money in the long run. I think it's going to be uh, lowering the quality of health care in America, but we'll see. Uh, if that is the case, I think, I think voters will not be worried about the process, but they'll be very concerned about the actual results of this health care bill and vote accordingly. But on the immigration issue, I have to agree completely with Danny. I think it's a huge concern with our community. When you look at the data on it, they're concerned about the illegal immigration issues. You know, you have a Republican... they're the competitors with illegal immigrants. Well, well, but of, you, you have... you have who are here illegally are competing. You, you, talk, you talked about Arizona. You have a, a Republican office holder there in the Assembly, Steve Montenegro. He voted for the bill, Republican. I think, personally, he's a young guy. He's, I think you're going to see him as potentially the future governor of Arizona. You have Susan Martinez, who's just won the, the primary in New Mexico, who's for the Arizona immigration law. We'll see what voters do with that in November. They're going to have a Hispanic. They're going to have somebody on the ballot in November on that issue. We'll see how she does with Hispanic voters. Let so me, I, 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 I think, I think, she, I, think we're, I think we have the right message on that. I think the Democrats are trying to exploit it, but I think ultimately people understand this isn't about discrimination. It's about police protection. It's about security, and it's about their own future. Quick final comment, Mari Cruz. Yes, well, I, I, I think you have to see the, the, the big picture. Really, I, I will go back to that. The overall concern right now in terms of economy is the debt. And that will affect the people with the lowest uh, income levels, and those are the Latinos. Because what you're having in the new health care that I was, uh, I was telling you, it's not going to benefit undocumented immigrants. They specifically say that they are not going to be part of that. They are not going to benefit. And then it's going to cost more. I know that with certainty because it's economics 101. You raise the demand and the price goes up. So we, have, we will have more than 30 million people more in the demand side, not in the supply. We're not having 32 million more doctors. We're having 32 million more people that we will have to take care of. The prices will go up. That is 100% sure. And, and that's, that's not a discussion from my point of view. 
Now, talking about undocumented uh, and illegal immigrants, from my point of view, that's how I define it. Undocumented is the immigrant that came to work, to contribute to this country. We support that. President Bush had the guest worker programs. It's directed to that, and he said, somebody that is coming to work and to contribute to the United States, he or she is welcome. And then you have the illegal ones, the ones that are not coming to work, the ones that are coming for criminal purposes. They are not welcome, and we are right in protect our borders to prevent those people to coming into the United States. That's not racist. That's real, and that's necessary.